How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I made this video about making your own Spectre Flame paint. How to do it, what to use and everything. And I got a cool question so I'm going to share with you the question and we'll go find out the answer together. So stay tuned. So I showed how to get the clear out of the can, the aerosol can. I showed how to add the, the tint to it. So that's what we're touching base on today. We had a question about it. And the question was, can you use gel pens for this? Well, that's actually a very good question because, you know, some of the gel pens come in different colors. And I spilled a little bit on me. I got I opened it up and well, this stuff's so runny, you know, I got it on my fingers. But that's okay. We'll work through it. So we're going to find out together. I have some more clear. This is a different clear. This is the Rust-Oleum Triple Thick. So we're going to use that. And it has some gel pens. So let's pick out one and see how hard if we can even get the gel out of it. I don't know. Never done this before. We're going to try it. Let's try the green. And I'll, I'll use a, a rough my guinea pig car to spray it on see how it does so let's try getting it out like i said i don't know i've never taken one of these bad boys apart i'm assuming it's about the same we're going to find out tip just unscrews there's definitely more ink in there i guess now i can see if i can take the tip off like i did the other So far, it's looking promising, isn't it? Let's see if we can blow this out now. It actually comes out easier than the regular ink. But will it mix? Let's find out. Yes, sir, look at that. Mixed up just fine. Yes, it did. I'm going to have to get me some better containers because anybody that's doing this, the dollar store containers, if you get them, you have to really screw it down tight or it will leak. I just shook that up and it leaked a little bit. My fault, I didn't put it really tight. But anyhow, there's the, the ink in the clear mixed up just fine how will it lay down how will it spray i have no idea like i said we'll find this out together it's raining right now here in north carolina it's been raining all day it started about five o'clock this morning this happens to be father's day sunday father's day 2021 so we're going to like i said we're going to give this a try and see how it does So, in a day or two, when it quits raining, I'll break out the airbrush and everything, and we will put this green on this car and see how it does. So stay tuned. Three days later. All right, we're set up outside now. Got everything ready to go. Before long, hopefully, I hope I won't have to do this. But here's the test mule. Got it all cleaned up. Got it degreased. It's dried and everything. Did a little light polishing on it. Nothing major. But I just wanted to see how this paint was really going to work on a polished surface. <clears throat> now, truth be told, here's one thing I have noticed about this paint. Or this gel ink. It tends to separate. As you can see, all the ink is on the bottom. So we're going to have to shake it up a little bit to get this to work. But as you can see, it mixes right up. No big deal. Just something, you know, you're going to see. So don't get scared. Don't get worried. Like I said, I have never tried the gel ink before, but we're going to give her a whirl. Not going to need that much. I got the cup out, I don't know, two-thirds of the way full. Still have that much left. This is just for trial, you know. 
if it works I may keep using it if it don't well we'll all know not to use it but I have my compressor set at about 15 psi because this polyurethane it doesn't take a lot of pressure to blow it out because it's really really thinning so I don't know how many coats it's going to take with this paint or anything with that said I'm going to start out as normal I'm going to hit it with light coats hit the outside I'm not going to worry about the inside so much this time because this is just a test mule I'm going to hit the outside with light coats that way it gives the, the regular coat something to stick to and I'm as you can see I got a hole right there I hate that but anyhow we're going to hit it with the light coats that gives the regular coat something to stick to so let's let's get this on the road I always do a quick little test spray to make sure everything's working you can see it's misting out fine and 15 psi I could actually go a little lower and I know you can't really see that on camera but I'm going to show you up close it already has a slight green tint to it and that's the color that we chose was green but that's really what you're looking for on the first coat is the the polishing effect the, the chrome look to disappear and that just shows you that you have something on there we'll give this a couple minutes to tack up and we'll come right back all right we've given it five minutes let's hit it with another coat this is coat number two And it's starting to look more green. That's coat number two. But we could put it on a little heavier this time. Because it actually has something to stick to. So we'll let that sit for the five minutes and come back and see what we get. Alright, we've got two coats on here. One very light and one wet and you can see it's already starting to change colors it's it's starting to look good i'm liking what i'm seeing so far let's hit it with another coat looking pretty good pretty good indeed now if I was going to keep this as a spectral flame I would probably stop with this coat right now this is looking pretty dang sharp I wish you could see it in the sunlight I mean it is absolutely let me get you back here so you can see 
I mean, it's absolutely amazing in the sunlight. Look at that. <laughs> now, just be advised that I've used several uh, inks, I've used several paints, I've used several dyes, and I'm going to be honest with you about this, <clears throat> as I do in all my videos. The gel paints definitely like your skin better. They're harder to clean off of your skin, and they're definitely a little bit harder to clean out of your airbrush. It coats everything, and it's, it's, it's really hard to get off of your skin. I've used lacquer thinner, right? And it only take off so much, then you basically just have to wear the wrist off. But let me show you how the car looks. I mean, cleanup is a mess. I'm not going to lie to you. It's a mess. But it's like that with all paints. Let me show you how this bad boy looks up close. And as you can see from right here, the finish is absolutely amazing. I mean, I love the color. I love the way it went on. I love the way that it turned out. It probably took two more coats to get to this color than I used on the other two cars that I painted with the homemade stuff. But the other kind is regular. This is gel pens rather than regular ink pens so the question was will it work absolutely absolutely it'll work as you can see from these these little short video clips it works perfect the only drawback that i see that i find is you will want to strain this paint before you do it because for whatever reason the gel paint wants the gel ink wants to separate from the polyurethane works perfect but if you don't strain it you're going to get splatters in other words you're going to have a real dark spot on the car wheel where the actual ink that did not mix with the polyurethane came out but outside of that strain the paint and you're good to go i mean i i, I love how it turned out really like it and i recommend it i've i've checked it for durability now and everything and it's nothing wrong with it at all the paint sticks to it really good the ink stays in the paint no no issues whatsoever so until next time i hope this video helped out if there's anything any of you would like to see and have me try you know before you try it if i can i will just put it in the comments as always open criticism i will never be mad at anybody that's the only way we can improve right so until next time, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.